Two communities are in mourning today over the sudden deaths of star athletes. The teen died Wednesday morning, two days after collapsing at track practice. You've heard the stories, seen the headlines. A seemingly young and healthy athlete suddenly collapses and dies while playing sports. Another young sports star has collapsed and died while competing. Sudden cardiac arrests account for more than 300,000 deaths in the U.S. each year. In young adults, sudden cardiac death is often the result of underlying heart conditions like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which causes the heart muscle to thicken, making it harder for it to pump blood. Another lethal condition called long QT syndrome causes cardiac arrhythmia, where the heart suddenly starts racing out of control. Both lethal conditions, unfortunately, and, and they cause probably more than half of all of the cardiac arrests in the country. Dr. Vince Buffalino is Senior Vice President of Cardiovascular Services at Advocate Healthcare. He and his partner, Dr. Joseph Merrick, wanted to do something to help prevent kids from suffering a sudden cardiac death. So when two young kids in their neighborhood collapsed and died from sudden cardiac arrests, Dr. Merrick came up with an unconventional idea. Let's figure out how to train the parents. Uh, and so he developed a video and a training course on how to actually perform an EKG. We train the parents on how to do the EKGs and it's worked out marvelously. Dr. Merrick's idea has laid the foundation for the largest youth screening program in the country, Young Hearts for Life. Since its launch in 2006, more than 7,000 moms and dads across Chicago have signed up to learn how to test young hearts. Volunteer mom Sharon Smith says the process is free quick and simple to do. We have a volunteer kid that will come in and be screened and then we have parents who, you know, hook them up to the leads and enter all the information into the computer. And um, it's amazing how it, it, it just works. To date, more than 70,000 students have received free EKG uh, testing right. funded by Young Hearts for Life. The foundation found a way to perform each test for less than $10 for results that are priceless. I believe if you change one kid's life, save one kid's life, it's worth it. It's not any different than all the preventative screenings that we do for mammograms or prostate or colon or anything else. It's a preventative screening and if you know what you're dealing with, you can deal with it as a parent. If I can just look at an EKG and say that everything looks great, let the doctor look at this and prevent some parent from not being able to hug their child, for me it's an easy thing to do. Saving lives is exactly what Young Hearts for Life has been doing. Of the 70,000 students tested, they've uncovered more than 100 kids who've had some form of treatable or life-threatening heart disease. A number of these have been things that we could find and fix. A number of these were things to warn them that you had a potential problem, that we want to make sure that you're not going to be exposed to a potential cardiac arrest. Any abnormalities are reported to parents by a physician who works to ensure the family follows up with their primary care doctors. Smith says she hopes the testing process catches on nationwide. This shouldn't just be something that um, schools that are able to bring the program or have a program in their area should do. I think every child should have the opportunity to be screened.